Yo yo. Alright, uh, this is a bit abrupt. We, ha we have a very special exhibit for you. Uh, this is a classic score attack match on TC, right? Yeah, this is TC. Okay, okay. Do, do, do you think uh, NES game looks like yeah. this? This is NES with uh, shaders. Shaders uh, can fix everything. Yes. Anyways, it, RJ has uh, invaded the comms booth, finally. Uh. Yeah, RJ's like, you know, I didn't get my uh, interview for TEC, so I gotta, <laughs> I gotta talk again somehow, right? <laughs> well, I, I, I like doing the uh, commentary aspect. I just didn't get a chance today because yeah, uh, you were just I too busy being good. <laughs> I, I went deep into uh, PPT, and then I was in losers finals for right. tech. So yeah, yeah, you did good. Yeah, good stuff today. Yeah, good stuff. Maybe uh. What level are they starting at? Oh, uh, they okay, are AG, at AG. AG. Yeah, that's okay. the that's the uh, that's what you normally see in CTWC okay, yeah. and so on. Yeah, so uh, they're both looking pretty clean. Mhm. Mm uh, let me think. So they have even number of lines. Uh, Shocky with a slight lead. Yeah. Um. I'm not keeping track of the Tetris is. Is that what the 53 is? Hmm? Is that what the 53 is? 53 Tetris is? I mean, uh, oops, that, that would be is looking not, not that good though. Well, these would be Tetris rates, so... Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so at the end, when they show stats, they show something called Tetris rate, so... I'm not sure about the exact calculation itself, but just simply, the more Tetris you get, the better that rate would be. Right. So I just knew that they uh, do count Tetrises in some way. I just didn't know how. Mm -hmm. uh, they they, fa uh, they do a rate-based uh, measure. Oh, very unfortunate IP timing for. It, it, if you want to like get a sense for uh, how well they're doing, you just check their number of lines cleared and their lead or deficit. Right. Yeah. Well. This game will have an end because uh, I do believe they are not rolling and they're going to be dashing, I suppose. So, if I had to guess, uh, zero OP would be hyper tapping, and Shocky he might hyper tap as well. But I don't think they'll roll. I don't think Shocky would roll with the Pro Controller unless uh, unless this is a forbidden uh, technology that I'm not aware of. But. I remember one of the players were trying to roll on the no. Someone was like, oh, I could roll the Joy-Con, but not the classic the mm. Pro Controller. So, well, if they I think that's what you're talking about. Yeah, I, I think if they wanted to roll, then the best way to go is to have the NES, either a, either a original NES controller or a NES USB-C controller. Right. If you use the original, you'd probably use an adapter to convert the plug from yeah, the... Yeah, I know they people. some people had adapters, but... Mm -hmm. Uh, they didn't work on the Switch. Ooh. The Europe's uh, were not looking too good. Mm -hmm. Currently had the lead, but Shocky can take the lead with a uh, yeah, yeah so Tetris is like right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he hasn't had as many lines as uh, Zero OP, and he has the lead, so it's looking pretty good right now. Right now, a lot of it is testing your efficiency with Tetrises because you, 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 you want to do it while you're still on speed 18 because later you'll be forced to make moves that you don't want to and it, it'll impact your Tetris rate. Oh yeah, absolutely. They want to... Uh, yeah, they just want to be they, they just want to be clean right now and like mm -hmm. back up their score, I guess. Mm -hmm. there, there, there's... It, that there's not much uh, struggle in terms of maintaining the board, so th that, this is where they want to do most of their scoring. Right. And if, and if they are indeed not um, the rolling, then the, the, the kill screen's going to definitely affect them because yeah. ki a kill screen is uh, still a factor for hyper tappers. Still real. Mm -hmm. I mean, I saw zero P try it. Uh, so chat, this it. is so chat. This is a uh, like the stream says. It's an exhibition, so we have. Two featured player, uh, featured classic players, um, playing out an exhibition match right now. Yep, this is an exhibition, but there are stakes. 
the winner will receive money from the loser. <laughs> AK, this is a money match. Perfect. The, a good way to motivate the both of them. I mean, it wouldn't be a Xeno without a money match, right? <laughs> I still remember the one uh, between George and Salted. That was yeah, so when, funny. Yeah, uh, Salted got 3 0 <laughs> You, you, you should have money matched Salted tonight because you actually beat him. <laughs> I mean, I forgot. I was also like really tired. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, but it, it, but it was like, it, it, uh, I was surprised when I heard that you beat him. Like, and now that I'm thinking about it, it's like, oh, you should have money matched him tonight. You would have <laughs> made money off of him. I mean, today's just full of surprises, you know? Like, I lost to John, I beat Salted. Yeah, yeah. So jam. Right now it's like eleven o'clock, and we're normally not here <laughs> this late. So we're normally only here if PPT is uh, first to fifteen, and uh, it's uh, twenty nine matches each time. Yeah. Like it's zero two. Oof. Oh, wait. level twenty one, huh? Uh, so we ha we have back background commentary saying that's fatal, but uh, honestly, I think Shocky can recover from it. Oh, Shocky going safe there. Nice. You're looking, you're looking good. It's like, I'm pretty sure there's like, oh, you better be, you should be like this height at a certain uh, speed. Yeah, or a certain level, I mean, but I don't know what that is. Yeah, at the, at the uh, po post 18 level, you definitely want your stack to be lower, so that's why you're not seeing it any higher than like 8 or 10. Yeah. Because it, it, it's like nearly impossible to navigate unless you're rolling, so. Yeah, it's just. Um, it's kind of hard to tell. Uh, like I'm, I'm sure these players like have like that like guideline in mind. Like mm -hmm. I should not be this high, or like yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's very much a experience thing to know that how far you can take it. Like because when you're hit with Tetris droughts, nice. the, your board's gonna get higher and higher. So sometimes you have to bail on your uh, uh, on your efficient plan. Right. Oh, he Ooh. built. He, he, he made he, a T-spin. Yeah, he made a T-spin. No, gone. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, there. Shocky wins. Oh yeah, he got it. Nice. There we go. Okay, there we go. Nice. But yeah, the, the, to uh, to our chat, the, the 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 NES bracket is off the table, but we have. In its place, this exhibition. Two solid players going at it. Yeah, it's first to two, so uh, you won't be here too long. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Shocky with the cheeky down tap. Early lead. Game's it, over. Maybe people should uh, pra practice their PC setups and do them here. Perhaps. Uh, I know in TGM you do get Bravos for perfect clears, but here it's just a flex if you get it. So. Oh, in. <laughs> <laughs> nice. PC gaming, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. Oh, no. All right, e even like the Switch hates yeah, NES. Set up a land adapter. Yeah, they're fine. Yeah. Yeah. But not yeah. really. The moment they saw that. Oh. Gaming. Yeah. 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 All right, this is a move that's uh, normally a modern. modern Tetris special, the DC cannon. Yep. I'm sure we'll get it back up soon. <laughs> PC gaming. Yep. Don't worry, the next the next Xeno will not be this bad. We'll just take NES out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> just give me some actual prep time and I'll I'll get the scaling on all oh, yeah. that work. No, it's, it's Celtic's yeah. fault. Yeah. yeah. Sultan needs to uh, conscript like teenagers with too much free time <laughs> to do his dirty work. Yes. Like other. Um, it's funny because like I, organizations. I have like five LAN adapters and I'm pretty sure are just in the catacombs of the venue and I just don't know where they are because everything is a mess right now. Wow. So I'm just like, <sighs> we're so close physically, like literally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when will this place like get cleaned? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I don't know. The numbers is being dumb out there. It's like, uh, it's like for for me, I uh, I do empathize with the challenge of uh, of going from keyboard to controller or 
NES controller to something else. Like transitions like that, they're not easy. No, of course not. I mean, it, yeah, I, I do like empathize. Yeah, yeah, like Drake can speak from experience because if we try to have him play controller, he, he might. Uh, I did play controller for like the first like few Xenos, and then yeah, I was like, ain't about this life. Mm -hmm. I was like, how do I, how do I like I preserve death with my thumb? I don't know how to do it, so I was just like, I'll just Jeez. spend one hundred fifty dollars. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Getting back into it. Back. Oh, oh. <laughs> let, let's Hold. Let, yep, let's Hold. give it a moment. It was like this before. Yeah, sure yeah. Right. all right, cool, cool, yeah. excellent. We're back. Here we go. Uh, probably gonna probably forfeit this one immediately. Yeah, yeah. to keep mm -hmm. the score right. Nice. Yeah. <sighs> Be funny if, uh, Shocky forgot oh, yeah, to yeah. get score and then he just <laughs> lost yeah. because he just topped himself out. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it is pretty late at night. I wouldn't be surprised if we had a slip up like that. I wanna go home. Oh, no, no, you got this. <laughs> <laughs> then let's begin. Should be like, yo, you gotta start at uh, level 27, sudden death. <laughs> <laughs> well, un unfortunately, you'd have to like uh, pull the big cheat on the game or something to even let you do that. I thought it lets you start at an arbitrary level. Because I saw. No, it doesn't. Zero, zero P starting like at like level 29. Oh, maybe it's possible. It, it, so, I, I could just be misremembering. I, uh, think, I think this is like a TEC special. Like, because you, know, you can't do that on. Uh, Original hardware. Co uh, correct, but uh, I do I do believe there's like uh, uh, I do believe there's like modified versions of NES Tetris that have like uh, the stat indicators yeah. and the modes and all that. So yeah. Oh, Tetris yeah. Gym, right? It, uh, Farrick uh, agrees with Dre, so I'm just uh, uh, I'm just out of the loop. Excellent. Yeah, and like I think. Tetris Gym also has like a two-player option, so mm. we only needed one NES if we were trying to like we were like tight on equipment. Mm -hmm. Oh well, yeah, but, we, but, we we ended up not getting any NESs anyway, so it doesn't matter, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, I, I know th I know there are ROMs for it because I I, I have uh, per I've pers not personally seen, but I have seen on streams the. Uh, uh -oh. The specially modified versions for uh, that are optimized for the tournament or competitive play. Wow, this is Ooh, oh, shocking! With the greed, is gonna get punished. Yo, game three, let's go. Nice. We have a game. Oh well, we have a match. <laughs> nice. Yeah, okay, that that's what I was thinking of. So, uh, Ferrix uh, has me in the right spot now. Unranked, you definitely can. Uh, higher I levels, see. but here you can. It, it makes sense that it's built this way. Okay, in, in case we were insane enough to say, uh, Set it, 19, yeah. yeah, nineteen plus, uh, a, a level nineteen plus tournament. Have fun, fellas. <laughs> Tetris right off the bat for both of them. Nice. Right, Ooh, with, with uh, a very uh, high left left side Ooh, stack. It, it, it zero's in quite a bit of trouble right now. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of tucking. All right, so it, it, it it'll get fixed, but yeah. uh, oh, it's already better. Uh, it'll get fixed, but the score lead is uh is staggering right now. No, it's like one Tetris apart, I think. So it's not nope. too bad. It, it's not too bad, but the thing is, they have this like roughly the same number of lines, so it, it, every little bit's gonna pay off at the end. True. But it's not like an insurmountable deficit at this point. Yeah, it, it's it's not like it's not like zero loses right off the bat, but it's like no. you, yeah, you really gotta it, work on that rate uh, over your next few clears. Yeah, zero's gotta either hope that Shocky messes up again, <laughs> or um, that they gotta play like a lot more aggressively, I suppose. Later mm -hmm. on, or not a lot, but like a bit more. Squeeze out the extra few touches. Mm -hmm. It is indeed neck and neck. Yeah. Uh, our, our uh, well, Shocky did uh, make have to 
cover up as well, so mm -hmm. I think Zero managed to catch up with that. Yeah, we, we actually saw Shocky go from having 20k lead to not having it, so... Actually, no, it's right... Right now it's a now zero's he's down, lead. Now, now, now he's, he's down, down like 36k. Yeah. Well, he was down 36k, but... And it's, and it's still the same number of yeah, lines. It's so. about like one and a half Tetrises. Yeah, so it's right right now it's a uh, efficiency uh, efficiency mishap. Yeah, I think he's being a bit too aggressive with his stack. Now he kind of has to, because he's losing. Okay, so now he's got the Tetris. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Alright, so exactly the same number of lines, so the Chalky's definitely behind pace-wise right now. Yeah, the, the Tetris rate is, uh... The uh, difference the, is quite the, staggering. Yeah, the, they are pretty high rates, but the, yes. the zero, uh, zero is the... It hasn't beat right now because it's like 80s. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, this is gonna be tough. The That's gonna be costing him eye piece. Or if he gets lucky. Okay, opting nope. to opting to go too wide here. Okay. Right. Oh, two, two eye pieces down the drain. No, the the the, the pacing is still quite. Uh, he still a lot has a long ways to go yeah. to even it up. Ooh, now oh, now he's like three. Now he's like three touches behind. Yeah, that's really that's pretty bad. We haven't seen it go deep into the fast speeds yet, so Shocky might be able to get to True. that point and pull ahead. So we ha we have to be patient with that. We, we can't just say that the game's over at this point because it's far from over. Oh, of course not. But I mean, both players have had their fair share of spaghetti, so like that, it, c it could also come down to like oh. we just make fewer mistakes, mm -hmm. and, like oh. live longer. Oh, the Shocky had a promising triple setup there, but uh, but now it's uh, kind of uh, scoffed. Yeah, I mean, got got to got to as well. So. Mm -hmm. Just need to clean up a bit and then should be fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, it'll be fine for survival, but yeah. Uh, but, uh, but the but point lead is widening. Quite, the point margin is widening. <laughs> yeah, the point uh, the point lead is quite uh, quite staggering. As I I actually said that before, but now it really is. It might crack six digits if it keeps Ooh, going like 92. this. Ninety-two. That's like six digits. Oh yeah. Uh, six digits with with zero having no, only like a few three. lines ahead. Okay. No, it's like what four and a half Tetris. It's a pretty big. Uh, I, I would agree <laughs> with. Big. I would agree with uh, Ferrix here. It would take a, uh, a, a fatal error from either a fatal error or a really bad error from zero to lose this one. Yeah, or like really aggressive play from Shocky. But I feel like whatever Shocky's doing, like zero can do as well at this point. Mm-hmm. Well, the, the, the key is at this point. We, yes. Well, we might see a, a shift during the fast speeds. Yes. Uh, but yeah, the like Farrick says, the score diff is insane right now. So. Yeah. Yeah, and zero seems to be keeping it up. So. Mm hmm. Jockey can only really hope that uh, zero like. I guess that makes a big mistake. Mm -hmm. Although the zero is back to scoring, so yeah, he, yeah. he had a bit of a mishap Ooh. there. The lead is getting bigger. Yeah, the, so Ferrix was talking about transition. That's uh, that's exactly what I was thinking yes. of. Like the, the, with the change in speeds, the oh, momentum yeah, 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 yeah. of the match could totally swing. Right. Yeah, that, that's mm, what like at the, the higher. Speed. At the higher levels, you get more points for your Tetris too, so you yep, can easily you, like catch up. Yep, you but get more points, and if you manage to stay clean during that time, you'll be well rewarded for that. Oh yes. Oh boy. It's very risky. Very big compromise from Chalky there. Yeah, Let's see what bent, happens. Those bent pieces are gonna transition. Let's yeah. See. Zero. It would be clean, but oh nice, get the Tetris. If time. you could get the T piece, it, it, the uh, the board will fix itself. Nice. Nice. Yeah, well, we nice. we, we talking well. we we'll talking about parody now. <laughs> oh, okay, a bit of a struggle from Shock now. Oh boy, Ooh. nice, nice, nice. The correct fixes. Fixes. Nice. Yeah, he's doing a better job keeping his uh, right side open. Nice. 150k though, so Ooh. he's gonna he's going to need a. And in fact, you can see it in the uh, Tetris rates. It's a staggering difference. Yeah, like that's like tw that's like 25%. That's mm -hmm. really big. Mm-hmm. 
it, you, you would need to see both an increase in shockies and a decrease in zeros. Yeah. Uh, but uh, but yeah, the, but we were hinting at the after going through this trans. Oh, uh, yeah, but the, oh, this might be winnable now. Yes. Yeah, but zero makes a mistake and he tops out. Yeah, no, but that, yo, that's... Yo, he's that, just gonna play it safe. That, that's exactly why... Well, you can't totally play it safe right. because of the time. You still have to be reasonable about your time, but... Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah, you, you see the time yeah, right the time. below the Tetris rate. Th that's the uh, that's what uh, gives uh, Shocky pressure here, but... Oh! Okay. Oh, but he, didn't, he still can Tetris. He needs one more Tetris. Okay. Or... A, a few, a few more, a few more doubles, uh, or just like likes this in will general. Help. This will help. Um, oh, okay. Nice, 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 nice. He still okay. has like a minute. He's basically good. He can play it safe. Yeah, he gets like a one k per uh, line clear. So the, it's like okay. below ten k now. He just yeah. has to. Like, he, he, he just like has a few it. like doubles and triple. Like it, he gets like another double right now. Then like he'll be like halfway done. Oh man. That, that, oh, that, he's gonna go for a photo finish. It might come, bite, it might come back to bite him. Oh boy, so tense. Oh, T piece. All yes. right. Oh, he got it. it. Oh boy, eye piece. Where's the eye piece? He needs the eye piece now. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh! <laughs> That's wow! So cool. Wow! That, he almost had to chase down. Wow! Yeah, he he tried to go for the swag finish, but it, it backfired. Yeah. But that would have led to a, a very exciting match. Oh man, I I I think I think if they just ah. went vict I think if they if Shocky just went victory formation like yeah you know, fouled like that would have been doubles doubles triples like you know mm -hmm. too wide would have been nice and solid but Th they like to call that in the business infinite down stacking. They say it's playing forever, you know. Mm -hmm. The reason why uh one of the top. Sprinters <laughs> used. <laughs> I remember the days of Korean stacking and all that stuff for sprinting. Yeah, I mean they're still around. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Hope you enjoyed. Right. Um, and now a word from our sponsor. A word from our sponsor, indeed. Or oh, another interview. Oh, are we doing interview? Right. Uh, Salsa's got it. Or not? Okay. All right. <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, I have no idea what to like talk about this. <laughs> yeah. All right. Congratulations on winning the first ever Xeno Tetris Classic Four Exhibition or oh. anything Classic related. Thank you. You are our first champion. Thank you. Um... <laughs> Yeah, that was a crazy match against Super Shocky. It was definitely fun. Um, I tried to go a really aggressive on the last game. Yes. It. I didn't think I was gonna win, but like, yeah, I guess classic Tetris RNG is pretty brutal sometimes. Oh yeah. So, I mean, you were doing extremely well until um, you weren't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because like you had something like a 75 to like 80 percent like Tetris rate. Yeah, it's really easy to like just panic whenever you have a really awkward stack on 19. So it's just like, yeah, it's it in in, in competition, it's way harder to play classic than like just by yourself. Like oh me oh yeah, and like if you've talk if you talk to like some of the best players like Dog and Andy, they'll say that like in person they'll be like it's way harder to play in person. It's like a whole nother level. Even though I'm like playing on my own computer, it's still really nerve wracking. Of course. Even here, when it's not well, actually, how much money was on the line? Uh, we didn't make it interesting, but it's Aww. all good. <laughs> I right. I'm used to playing like I play poker a, a little bit, and so we we make things interesting with that. Okay. So I'm not like terribly okay. concerned about money, unless it was like a lot of money. I don't know anyone who would bet that much money on Tetris. Well, the most I've spent on Tetris <laughs> is fifty bucks for an entry fee, but that's for CTWC, and it's like. Well, that's like, the, that's like the that's like the that's like the competition. Yeah, so that's understandable. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, that was that was a uh, very exciting. Like, how did you feel about after losing the first round? Uh the first round, I thought I was playing really like 
I was just not confident in my uh, like tapping, and so I had to make a lot of compromises with my stacking. Okay. And so I kind of was just very nervous. I'm just gonna. I was just like, okay, I'm gonna try to focus on like being more calm. I knew it was nerves, so I just tried to be more calm. And yeah, I was just playing way better in the next two games. Yeah, definitely for chill, sure. So. Um. I didn't have to like go for so many like really safe plays like I did in game one. Yeah, so I'm sure you're watching, but like Sharky would have had you, but he decided to go for the photo finish with the Tetris, oh. which I think is what cost him. Um, I think, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, he probably, I, I think to be honest, it was a long day for both of us. We're not playing like our absolute you know most focused because we just played like two modern tournaments super course, shocky yeah. just came out of like a really close match with uh sayonara and so we were just kind of tired i think so but like if i'm gonna analyze the game like he had a low left side on his board like in level 25 and yeah. had to make like a a fast tap which is always nerve-wracking, and that could have gotten in his head, maybe. So, True. maybe something like that, but like, yeah. That's like one thing I noticed is like, your left side was a lot higher than his left side. Which I think led to him, like, having to like, skim a lot of lines. Yeah, ex well that's sort of what I decided to do. Like, in the next, like in game 2 and game 3, I was like, okay, I'm gonna actually try to tap things to the left, and like, be confident in my ability. Because that's like, really important in um, Classic, is building out your left side which allows you to take the skims when you're right. not getting the pieces you want. All right. What do you think? I know you're a modern Tetris <laughs> player, Andre. Is that how I say your name? Yeah, that's fine. Andre? Dre. And what do you prefer? I'm sorry, I have no I mean, you can call me Dre. That's Dre, fine. Dre. <laughs> okay. I actually started out playing Classic, basically, because... Oh, really? My first, like, big exposure to Tetris is, like, playing Tetris on, like, my graphing calculator, which is oh, basically Classic. got you, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, as a modern Tetris player, I know, like, the modern community is, like, starting to get into it a little bit. Like, Dormy just got his first max out, like, uh, a couple days ago. Um, yeah, I mean, and like, you know, a few years ago, Blark played. He got his max out. Yeah, and I think Fort, like, Fort, you know, Fortison is um, playing. Nice. I think he yeah. also is, he also got a max out or is, like, trying to get a max out. Yeah. Actually, yeah, Blarg also recently got a PB. I think he posted on his YouTube. Oh, he did? He reached oh, nice. uh, 1.2 million, which is a really big milestone in Classic Tetris. It's like the next milestone after yeah. Max Out. That's like the B, right? A or C. The a. It's the C, right? So the that's C. like a brown 78% Tetris rate into level 29. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. Blarg is, okay, Blarg is crazy good at Classic. Uh, he barely has played it, and he his progression speed is really high. Yeah, some people are built different. It's yeah, not he's fair. definitely built different for sure. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, it's fun. It's fun to watch. Like when uh, when Shocky was like trying to like close the gap, like you know, I was like leaning forward, like, oh, what's gonna happen? Is he gonna make it? Yeah. <laughs> but you know, it's exciting. Yeah. And definitely tune in uh, to like the upcoming classic tournaments for sure. Like, yeah. have you watched like you, I'm I'm not sure. Have you like watched some of like the rolling matches with like the top players? Well, I've seen like uh, summaries, sort of like you know I've seen videos on like score productions and stuff. So like yeah. I know about like the charcoal screen and stuff like that. Got like, you. So, so I, I, I didn't I know about like how like the game crashes, which you reach certain of lines, like how certain people have reached it recently and yeah. stuff. Like so, I haven't like watched those specifically, so Got you. I'm like but I feel like I'm pretty like in the know about like how things are going in like NES and like developments. Sweet, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's very exciting to follow. I would definitely, yeah. And like look out for some of the things, cause like it's getting the scene just growing and growing and like I can guarantee this year's CTWC, which is in a brand new location now, is gonna be epic. Like it's not in Portland anymore. Yeah, so they moved it to SoCal now. Okay, nice. Yeah. So it's yeah. Yeah. You know, we'll be sure to check it out. Like thanks for coming to our Modern Tetris tournament. <laughs> yeah, uh, speaking of modern, <laughs> I definitely struggled. It was definitely a humbling experience, especially like, you know, getting swept by RJ and uh, Baseball Boy and also Super Shocky. Like, 
even though like I've been practicing a pretty good amount of modern, like I still have a lot of things I need to improve on with my stacking. So I can, I'm guess I'm gonna just try to keep learning from other players, because like. I've just realized I can't just brute force my classic stacking into modern. Like it can only get me so far. Even if I know how to like set up a T spin, like I'm oh, yeah. not doing it efficiently. I, I mean, feel. yeah, there's like learning curves to both, but you yeah, know, you're both. We're, you're all. We're all trying to put the blocks together in the correct way. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Like I think, even though like I'm not primarily a modern player, like playing modern Tetris has like definitely helped me getting better at classic. Cause like forcing yourself to play at like two PPS makes your reaction time better for like playing on 19 speed like what i just played there like felt way less scary to play 19 speed like i can actually think faster so it's like i think if you play all modes of tetris you'll get better at like the other games it oh, just yeah, works course. out you know yeah like i'd say the same thing carries over to zone battle for example i think like zone battle if you're like good at classic like zone battle down stacking is kind of uses a lot of like classic Tetris like skims, you right? Know? Of course. Yeah. You're trying to like squeeze as many lines as possible. Exactly. Right? Yeah. yeah. So like the skimming thing came so naturally to me. It's only like setting up the T spins, which I sort of had to learn from scratch. Okay. All right. Anyway, like, uh, well, thanks for coming on. Congratulations yeah. on winning. And I think Salted has a few words for us. Sure. Yeah. Sounds good. Thank you. All right, what up? What's Congratulations up? on the getting second place. What's up? I mean, yeah. Well, number one, I didn't expect to do it. Just <laughs> based on the things that happened today, which I will talk about soon. But yeah. Uh, no, the craziest part is not that I played well against RJ. It's like how I won nine straight games against Baseball Boy. I did not expect that one. Because I was like, I played... No, I was talking to Zerk about it. I was like, I was playing... Um, you know, I was playing Sayonara and, you know, like it was very simple, easy stuffs. And like, I'm like, yeah, I'm feeling myself. And then I play versus Baseball Boy and suddenly down one game to five. And I'm like, I'm kind of in panic mode. I'm like, dude, I lost my group. What the hell am I going to do? And then I won two close games, like two games in my mind. I'm like, I'm not supposed to win this, but I'm like, you know what? I take the double use. But then eventually it got better. The wins got better and better and better. I'm like, what the hell? And then at the end, I was just feeling myself. I'm like, damn. Nice, yeah. Yeah. Sadly, I you couldn't bring that momentum oh, well. to RJ. You know, you're, I, out, you're out of energy. Yeah, I ran, I ran. Like, I peaked too early. But you know what? <laughs> the fact that I did that to Baseball Boy, because he keeps doing, like, he keeps styling on me. So it felt good. Like, the fact, like, also, I, I, you know, like, part of me, when I beat him last time, I'm like, yeah, you know, he hit he didn't have a controller. Yeah, controller, John. So I didn't, didn't consider that as, as a win. But this one definitely i you know felt very proud of so yeah, yeah that was good but yeah anyways you know like well it's, it's late so we're gonna wrap it up oh how do you turn on chat that one not anymore I, you, you do it <laughs> i need an adult yeah no but it was like yeah this this was uh no this was this was a uh, good xeno like the bunny ears wait wait wait, wait. yeah you got the bunny ears. yeah i got the bunny ears yeah no this, it was a good xeno you know a lot of new faces came as you can see it's just like it was insane but like first thing first is I want to apologize to the, Netri the Nestris folks because I wanted this to have a Nestris event and I dropped the ball pretty hard. That's all, you know, I, I want to blame other things, but no, like at the end of the day, that's my fault. So I do <laughs> eat girl. <laughs> I, I mean, you know, like the blame goes to me and I take full responsibility for that. And no, I'm, I'm really sorry, but like, damn, like I tried to take on a lot of things by myself. I shouldn't have done that. And I'll never trust facebook marketplace to this extent ever again the trick was you go to facebook marketplace when the college kids are moving out and then you get like literally you just get free stuffs but you don't do that to purchase other things because i like i had a deal where i was like oh this is like way too good to be true and it was I almost got well i almost got shafted out of my money but i guess i got shafted out of you know other things in that regards but no that's my fault i like you know i should have done better but yeah, like, I guess for the New York scene, right? Like, what I want to do is, like, I just, like, see, this is why I like organizing events, is when you go to an event, number one, everyone gathers around, you can see the faces, but not just that, you feel the enthusiasm, you see their smiles, and, like, that's what makes me do it. 
right? Like compared to online, like you know, like we have a fun time, but like you don't see the emotions. Or well, you do see it, but not that much. But in here, like you see it, like everyone's having fun, you know, like just doing random shit. Like you just don't go out and buy bubble tea on an online event. You can't like you, you can't do that. But in here, people go out, chill, have fun. And you know, like just like you know, I just want to see people having fun, like just foster the community, just good vibes, because like this community is special to me. It's been like years. I've been playing this game for years, and it's like I like I thought I'm done, but I'm not. And I just like wanna make something big, you know. In at least as you know, I can keep on going. I wanna make something big in New York, and you know, like I know I can't do it by myself, so I'll just do my best to rely on other people. But yeah. like, yeah, that's basically the gist of it so yeah again heartful apologies to you know the nesters folks i'll do better next time for sure and you know I, i'll just do a lot you know, i'll try to coordinate as many things as possible with the community and you know with devin and all that stuff and hopefully run the tournaments faster because that's really hard ppt took too long definitely but like yeah so we'll work on the timing so i'll like just like I'll literally spend days just trying to figure out the timings for the events, you know, to make it I'll help close. You put to together it. a run of show if you want. Yeah, yeah, that'll be much appreciated. <laughs> but like, yeah, shout outs to Devin. He put a lot of work, you know, in behind the scenes for this one. He didn't have to, but he did anyway. So like, again, like shout outs to Devin. Go donate sub if you haven't like sub, you know, sub yeah. to him. Donate Twitch money. Prime right? Get, yeah, it, Twitch, Twitch Prime is free. So <clears> do that. But like yeah, like no, like I really appreciate what Devin does. The production is absolutely insane. I'm yeah, he was like, trapped yeah. with he us here for like eleven hours. Yeah, he was trapped mm -hmm. with us here for eleven hours, dude. But like, all the vods up are up. On yeah, our all YouTube. the vods are posted already on the YouTube channel. So you know, if you want to see all the cool moments, and we had plenty, do check it out. Um, we've I've also talked to Devin, and we have two dates, you know, for March and. February for the next Xenos and it should be if correct me if I'm wrong um, First one is February 17th, which is a Saturday and then the next one is March 30th Which is a Saturday as well, correct? correct. Yep, you awesome. got it. Yep So those are the next two dates and obviously right like I'll yeah, like they just got to do better in the PR stuff and all that I'll just like try to advertise as much as possible shout outs to the people that did help me advertise mainly George, you know, Shen, like the people in the PA community getting the word out. Like you guys are amazing, honestly. Like I owe you guys drinks at the minimum. I owe you guys drinks, but like seriously, like this community like takes care of each other. I love it. Like you guys are awesome. So like I really appreciate all of that. Um, but yeah, for now it's like dude, it's eleven forty two. We're tired. We'll probably I don't know, maybe we'll get drinks or something, maybe not, but like pretty much we'll wrap this up and you know for all the folks that have continued to watch us for all the way into this very very late hours thank you so much and i hope i can see you guys again next time on xeno 11 oh my god we're in 11 yeah. already yeah we did 10 good job yeah we made it to 10 so yeah thank you guys again and good night so peace, peace out, out everybody see ya mm -hmm.